Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. As you can see, today we're taking a look at the new Richard Legrand uh, Seafer. This is their Mark III Odyssey, their newest model, and it has a lot of upgrades. And the quality is definitely a lot better, I did notice. I'm not saying the quality was bad on their previous models, but they definitely stepped it up a level in terms of manufacturing, uh, case, and the bracelet is a big thing on this watch. It's a lot better. Now, I took the watch out of the box already to make sure everything's okay. Here's the box it comes in. Uh, this watch was 369 US dollars from Richard Legrand and I think it's a pretty fair price. Now I did take everything out but you do get a nice watch roll with your warranty card inside and a spring bar tool. I believe this is the same one Zelos uses, uh, at least the buckle it looks like. Anyway you get an extra tropic rubber strap which is actually pretty nice and uh, yeah I think that's pretty nice. Nice signed RL buckle there. And of course you do get your warranty card extra spring bars. Uh, but let's get into the watch and what I'm wearing today. Today on my wrist I am wearing the Rolex Submariner 114060 which has been with me since 2015. The days when I walked in the Rolex AD and I just purchased this watch straight out of the showcase. Now it's kind of hard to do that. Although you can still find these uh, if you're lucky. But yeah definitely a nice watch here. Get you a little closer. As you can see, and I believe Rolex did increase their prices as well. Um, I believe 7% in the UK. I'm not sure about the USA. Um, but yeah, not like you can buy steel sports watches anyway from an authorized dealer. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's get back to the Richard Legrand. And here in front of you is the Richard Legrand newest model. A dateless model as you can see here. Obviously in a you know dive style, kind of 50 fathom style kind of um, orientation here. Uh, but it's a very nice watch. The dimensions are also very nice. Excuse me that the sunburst dial is giving off a lot of glare. This is the ocean blue dial, which is in stock right now on Richard Legrand. I will drop a link down in the description below, so you can check them out after this video and learn a little bit more about the brand. Anyway, this is housed in a solid 40 millimeter case. We're looking at a case thickness of 11.5 millimeters, so it's very slim. We have a lug to lug of 46 millimeters, which is also pretty nice. And we do have a 20 millimeter lug width here. So the dimensions are very nice. I think this is what people really want, um, especially people interested in micro brand watches. Now, the watch itself, of course, is comprised of solid 316L stainless steel all around. It's pretty much completely brushed. Uh, but we do have those nice polished chamfered tops of the lugs, which is actually really nice. Nice brushing here on the sides of the case. We get a signed screw down crown. The whole bracelet itself is brushed just to match the case there. The other side is brushed as well. And I don't see any issues with the brushing. Everything is very smooth. I don't feel any sharp edges or anything like that. So uh, everything good so far. Now the dial, obviously, like I stated, is a blue sunburst dial, so when the light hits it, you get all different shades of blue, and I think that's really nice there. The watch itself is a true dive watch and is water resistant to 200 meters with a screw down crown and a screw down case back, as you can see there, a nice uh, stamped case back with their very nice logo. I think that's pretty cool. Now, we do get applied indices with BGW9, applied 12369, and the indices. Uh, loomed with blue BGW9, we get a sapphire bezel, which is pretty cool. 120 clicks here. The bezel action is really good. There's no play. There really uh, isn't any play there. So that's always nice to see. And everything does line up perfectly to the 12 o'clock position, which is very nice. Now... Some other stuff about this watch. Well, the bracelet is new. Um, this is definitely a new style bracelet for Richard Legrand, kind of in like a block style. It is using pins. It does have solid end links, but it is extremely flexible. As you can see here, it's just really, really flexible. And as you can see here also, there is enough room for a huge wrist. If you have like a nine inch wrist, this can definitely fit you. Now the biggest or the nicest part I found on this watch was the actual clasp and buckle. Signed very neatly, Richard Legrand here. You get a flip open here, and then you have two buttons, which opens it. It definitely reminds me of kind of like the um, strap code bracelets a little bit, but much smaller and thinner in profile. We do get a nice amount of micro adjustments here, six micro adjustments to be exact, so you should have no issue sizing this bracelet. Clamps down very nice, and it's very solid, and it keeps a nice low profile on the wrist considering it's quite thin. 
Now something cool that they actually did, if you didn't notice, there is uh, quick release pins on this bracelet. So no issues taking it off there. You just pop this in, pop this out. You can swap right out to the rubber strap uh, in a couple of minutes or about 30 seconds. Uh, that would be more exact. <laughs> Anyway, uh, back to the dial. We do get a dome sapphire crystal, of course, with uh, inner anti-reflective coating, which is always better for glare. Um, the dial itself is basically just print work here, which are the Groundly logo. I'm going to go ahead and move these long rectangular hands out of the way so we can get a look at the Ocean Ferrer logo down here at the 6 o'clock position, stating Ocean Ferrer 200 meters. Uh, pretty simple there. Go ahead and screw this back down. Now, getting to the actual movement inside of this watch, it's using a Miyota 9039. Uh, most of you probably might or might not know what this movement is. It's basically a 9015 without a date. Um, so it's a dateless movement. We don't have that annoying ghost date inside, which is always nice. I really hate when companies do that. It's kind of cheap. But the 9039 definitely is a nice movement. Uh, we do get hacking. We do get hand winding. And it does beat at 4 hertz, 28,800 beats per hour. As you can see, that long arrow pointed seconds hand sweeping around the dial right now. Um, just looks very elegant. Everything is very uh, proportionate and very symmetric on this dial with the 12, 3, 6, and 9. I do like that. So no issues, no quality control issues or anything like that, uh, which I always do like. Now I want to get you a look at the case back. I think the case back is pretty cool here, as you can see. We do have that nice kind of vintage diving theme here going on. It's very nice. It's a little, it's raised, obviously, and polished. And I think it looks pretty nice. We have the waves behind that. Then it's screwed down and brushed on the outer portion. Here is a loom shot for all you loom freaks out there. As you can see, the bezel is loomed as well as the hands with BGW9. And it seems much stronger on the hands and uh, 12369 on the markers than the actual bezel itself. Um, but it definitely does appear a bit brighter in real life, obviously, than on the camera. But it doesn't fade quickly and has a nice long-lasting blue color. Now, here's how the watch would look if you had a 6.5-inch wrist looking down on it. As you can see here, it fits perfectly across my wrist. So the lug-to-lug -lug is very nice for a 6.5-inch wrist there at 46. It's very, it's very slim as well. Uh, the lugs do curve down a little bit towards the end, so it definitely fits nice there. As you can see, that nice sunburst dial just gleaming as the light hits it. I wanted to get a quick look at the Tropic style bracelet because I think it's actually a nice accessory. It does come with curved uh, spring bars here, so you can definitely fit it into the case. But I really do like the buckle on the strap. It's custom, obviously. It's very thin, very proportionate to the strap itself. It's not overly large like some other companies do that really pisses me off. Um, it's a very nice strap. I don't believe it's genuine rubber. It is some kind of silicon mix, but it definitely is very nice. It's flexible. It's not too flexible, but it's quite sturdy as well. I think it's a nice accessory if you want to throw it on the watch. I mean, personally, I would keep it on the bracelet. The bracelet is very nice, but you always want to have this in handy in case something happens. Or sometimes you want to go to the beach or pool and you want to throw it on the tropic strap. kind of suits the environment a bit better. Um, but yeah, definitely a nice accessory. So, furthermore, guys, I think this new release is quite an improvement from Richard Legrand. Everything is really, really, really nice. Um, I like the blue sunburst style. The bracelet is definitely a huge upgrade, in my opinion. It kind of just glimmers as the light hits it, as you can see there. It's really nice and flexible, does not pull hair. And the clasp is very nice as well, with six micro adjustments, which I know people will appreciate. A nice new signed clasp here with the Richard the Grand logo. Definitely a very nice watch. The finishing is on point. Everything's on point. The Miyota 9015 movement is very nice, very smooth winding. Of course, we have that hacking. Everything functions as it should. The crown is great to use. And I don't really see any issues with it there. Um, I like the sapphire bezel, of course. It's always nice to have, you know, a bit higher quality component on your watch. The bezel action is good. I don't really see any issues with it. And I think it's a pretty decent price at $369. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual of the new Richard Legrand Odyssey Mark III. You can always find written articles at www.watchaddictchannel.com and a lot of watch information. You can also reach me at Watch Addict Channel on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think as usual, and definitely subscribe. I have a lot more interesting reviews coming up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.